The funeral cortege arrived to the accompaniment of a traditional male voice choir, but there was nothing traditional about this funeral. In the blazing sunshine, thousands gathered to pay their respects to the former Stereophonics drummer, who was fiercely proud of his Cunnan Valley roots. He was, was well-loved within the community. You'd always see him around. And, yeah, he was just a nice guy, really. So he was a star. He was unbelievable. I feel that Stuart would have put Kamaman on the map. I'd be very proud of his achievement, and it's a very sad day for Kamaman today and Stuart's family. Ah, but they're going to really miss him. Really, really sad. But this very public spectacle was also a private tragedy as his family gathered to mourn the loss of a deeply loved father, brother and son who died aged just 40 at his home in Aberdeer. They're struggling to come to terms with what's happened exactly three weeks ago today and it'll take a very long time for them to actually come to terms with what happened. Celebrities from the world of music, theatre and sport were there inside the church, outside the people of Aberdeer and Cormammon and so-called Valley Commandos bikers who'd accompanied the funeral cortege. The private service here at St Elvan's Church was relayed outside to hundreds of people who lined the streets of Aberdeer. And as the order of service says, it's not just a funeral service, but a celebration of Stuart Cable's life. It's been an honour and a privilege to spend the last five years with Stuart, uh, rehearsing and performing. But not only have we lost the heart of our band, but our press friend also. That tribute from a member of his new band, Killing for Company, and as a book of condolence was passed around the crowd, another from family friend, Gwyn Davis. I'd like to say this too, was my best friend, but he was also everyone's best friend. You only have to look around and see how many people are here to pay their respects, just to see how much he meant to so many people. These people aren't here because of his famous celebrity. They're here because they genuinely loved the nice, normal bloke that he was. People would identify with Stuart, his passion and enthusiasm for life and all things Welsh was contagious. Stuart was so proud of his roots and his Welshness that he decided at the age of 35 to learn to speak Welsh. And this was no mean feat, especially when you consider the most was a commandment struggling with English. <laughs> Hymns, church bells and rock music was the order of the day. ACDC tribute band High Voltage played several of Stuart's favourite rock classics as the service drew to a close. Well, I don't think many people could um, have a send-off like that apart from Stuart, really. ACDC and church bells. Some of them had black coffee and a lightning bolt on it. It's hard to walk out crying when they're playing back in black, really. But, um, yeah, you can have a drink. See you later.